Okay, so this will be a short run through of the uh, Chrome OS. Um, and um, I have installed this on the original uh, Acer Spire 1, it's the A110, and it's an um, Atom based unit. It has 512 megabytes of memory and it has a solid state hard drive put on 8 uh, gigabytes. So it's not the most powerful system, but it's a pretty good system to. Um, Install the OS on to see if how it actually performs. So let's boot up and see how the system works. And um, here you get the login screen where you uh, put in your password for your Google account and uh, when you set up the system the first time you'll get uh, access to setting up Wi-Fi uh, so you can get a connection and you need to enter a Google account. Um, if you don't have a Google account you're not going to get too far with the system so you need to get one of those if you want to uh, try to play around with the Chrome OS. Alright, let's uh, log in and see how the uh, screen turns out. Okay, and here we are. This is the uh, home screen of uh, Chrome OS and uh, I've installed some apps here. Uh, what you see if, when you put up the first time, you just just have the uh, the web store. I'm so, uh, sorry, this, this is in all in Danish because this is where I'm at. So uh, you'll have to bear with that in uh, in this presentation. Let's just you know start out with Angry Birds. This is something that you, uh, whenever you test something new, you need to run Angry Birds just to see how the whole thing works. Um, Angry Birds will will load up uh, in the HD version on this uh, this hardware, and it actually runs. Decent. It's not something that you would want to play with for a long time because it's not that quick. But it's actually uh, fairly decent, com co you know, considering the uh, the hardware. Okay, here we go. And off he goes. But as you can see, you know, that's a little lagging and. But the game works, and it's actually pretty impressive. All right. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the Chrome Web Store, and uh, I'll just take a short um, detour here. I'll show you a couple of uh, things how to navigate the browser, um, and um, I'll then we we'll get back to the store. Chrome OS has uh, a couple of nifty uh, features with the, for the touchpad while navigating the screen. If you want to use your cursor, you just use one finger and a touchpad and it will just move around the cursor as you know, everything else. And you add two fingers and you'll actually scroll up and down the screen. If you want to right click on something, you just tap with two fingers. Oops, see if I can make it work. Just like this. Uh, and it'll give you the uh, right click menu. And now I don't have anything that I can, that I can do it on in here, but if you put one finger down and you put the other one, if you should be able to drag and drop, uh, if there's something you could actually drag and drop on that screen. So uh, those three extra functions is something that uh, Chrome OS has uh, has built in. And uh, just as a curious, uh, just a curious note, I actually didn't know that my touch screen on the old Aspire One was actually multi-touch, but that seems like it is. All right, here um, as you saw before, the main screen, and it's you know it's a standard. App Store, if you have ever been in the Android market or the uh, App Store from iOS, then you'll you know recognize this immediately. You can click on whatever um, application, Let's just take that one, uh, and you can um, read about it and you can install it on the uh, on the system. One app that I want to show uh, short is just the uh, TweetDeck app because it's a little bit different from what the the other ones we've seen. This is actually uh, it seems to be some optimized uh, for the uh, Chrome OS in the way that it's not really, as you see up here, there's no uh, nothing up in the address bar, and um, so the apps seem to be running uh, locally. Um, it's the, of course it pulls the all the information on the web, but it's, it seems to be running locally, uh, at least to some extent. All right, um, Gmail. Well, it's just again. This is just a link, as you can see, to the internet uh, site of uh, of Google Mail. But it, you know, it's, it it runs perfectly. It gives you access to your email on the system. So you know, 
nothing to complain about here all right okay what I want to do now is just quickly show you a bit of YouTube video um, so I'm gonna log into my my own account and I'm gonna play this video here I'll um, start out by running it embedded and um, after that I'll uh, put it into HD let's see I think I'm gonna go with 720p here because I don't think it's gonna be running any more than that anyway let's see that's not going too well nope let's see how it does full screen oh nope this is not good okay um, let's see how things go back in 480p see if it actually managed to run the video in that resolution well a sound file somewhere I just can't see the picture let's go back to here we go this this seems all right when it goes in yep so on this hardware you're actually running 480p YouTube video so that's not too bad actually All right. alright uh, what I want to show now is uh, let's just go shortly into settings um, so you get a feel for how the, um, the settings is, is, is done it's not you know it seems like something they haven't really focused a lot on from, from, from Google it's not that user-friendly but or, you know, have a couple of settings you can do in there and, and you can you know, manage to get the whole the system up and running pretty pretty well there's another one that you can get as actually if you go um, you can actually get this nerdy shell thing uh, and you can also actually launch uh, a, a Linux shell underneath this again it is you know it's a Linux system but it's packed away pretty well and you can do some simple stuff here like install it on a netbook or whatever but this is not somewhere that the, the average user should be um, you know stay with this this should be good enough all right um, I'm, I have a, a USB stick here and I will just put that in and uh, show you how the, um, the file manager and the um, and the media player works so this is how it looks when you get up the file manager it's just again it's a basic website it's very very straightforward there's nothing really there uh, let's just stop that one instead and show that here we go and you should be able to move around with the, uh, around the pictures by pressing the arrow key and then loading up the next picture um, those, these seems to be pretty big pictures so it's having a hard time scrolling through them but uh, at least this is how it works and you can also of course use the, the buttons on the, on the screen okay let's close this down I have a video here too I don't know if it's gonna play it should but let's see nope it didn't that's one of the main things the media player is really doesn't support anything at all um, I haven't been able to, to play anything there yet but probably doesn't just doesn't have a file in the right format but uh, you should be able to you should have been able to play MP, uh, mp4 files there but well, well here you go okay um, in closing this is just actually just the Chrome browser and it's just fitted onto a netbook it, it, it works really well uh, I you know I'm happy with it for all my browsing uh, surfing needs I have my Google ecosystem there and I can get to my my email and I can use the Google Reader I can write documents I can you know blog and, and have my notes uh, so uh, pretty much everything I do is is, is, is doable on on this platform compared to um, to a tablet what you get here is of course you have the, the keyboard you could buy an, an Asus transformer uh, and, and do the same thing it just would probably be a little bit more expensive uh, battery wise it's you know Chrome is pretty good on the battery so um, it'll, it'll last for quite a while and you can you, you use it um, depending of course on the battery but you, it does really do, does really take care of your battery so you have a pretty good use there uh, standby is, is pretty amazing 
Um, it does almost doesn't use any battery when it's instead of course it will it will yes eat up some stuff battery but it's pretty decent again there uh, okay the last thing I'm sure you is just uh, if you uh, close the lid and it goes into power save um, the time it takes to uh, boot back up is pretty fast uh, and so I'm just gonna show you that here we go and I'm gonna press the power now and here you go you're back and you're online and that's pretty fast and you know that's comparable to not quite to a tablet but it's pretty fast and uh, so you don't really get the same waiting time as you do on, on pretty much any other OS that will run on a netbook so I'm impressed with uh, Chrome OS I like it um, the only little problem here is that uh, it's not offline yet you just there's no no app here you can do in offline mode so if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection well out of luck.